Hello, I'm Dr. Todd Marr. Every day we meet caregivers who want to know how to help protect their children from life-threatening allergies. Often they're confused or worried, and it's our job to provide them helpful information. That's why today we're taking questions from parents and discussing how to respond. Let's take the first question. Hi, I'm Pam, and I'm concerned my child could go into anaphylactic shock with my caregiver present. What should I tell them? Parents are frequently concerned about leaving their child with severe allergies in the care of others. Since very young children cannot describe their symptoms, caregivers need to know what to look for. The most common signs and symptoms of anaphylaxis in infants appear on the skin, including severe itching and swelling. Any of the following signs after an infant or toddler is exposed to a possible allergen should also prompt concern from a caregiver. That would be wheezing, trouble breathing, vomiting or spitting up, irritability, inconsolable crying, and drooling. Also, you should train your caregivers on how to use their epinephrine auto-injector with the trainer. When prescribing AVIQ 0.1 milligram for infants 16 and a half to 33 pounds, I like to point out that the voice instructions will guide the user through each step. Your caregiver may actually feel much more confident after they try it out and practice with the trainer in your office. This mom raises a question I hear quite often. Hi, I'm May, and I must admit I'm a little afraid to use the auto injector. I'm afraid I'm gonna hurt my child or I'm afraid I'm gonna give the wrong dose. What advice can you give me? This parent is not alone. Many parents are worried they will hurt their child or use an epinephrine auto-injector incorrectly. For infants and toddlers with life-threatening allergies weighing 16.5 to 33 pounds, I like to prescribe AVIQ 0.1 milligram because it's the first and only epinephrine auto-injector designed with babies and toddlers in mind. For key features, it has an auto-retractable needle, which can't be seen before, during, or after injection voice instructions that guide the user through administration step by step, and it's pocket sized. It's also important to have an epinephrine auto injector with the right needle length. If the needle length is too long, the needle may hit the bone during administration, resulting in a bone strike. In one study, using an ultrasound to mimic an injection, it was estimated that an epinephrine auto-injector with a needle length of 12.7 millimeters could strike the bone in 43.1% of children who weigh between 16 and a half to 33 pounds. The data from the study suggests that the optimal needle length was seven to eight millimeters. AVIQ 0.1 milligram has the shortest available needle, 7.4 millimeters, to reduce the risk of bone strikes. This is just one more reason why this is the epinephrine auto injector I prescribe. Thanks for watching. For more information about helping families manage life threatening allergies, please visit avq.com. Indication. AVIQ epinephrine injection USP is indicated in the emergency treatment of allergic reactions, type 1, including anaphylaxis to allergens, idiopathic, and exercise-induced anaphylaxis. AVIQ is intended for patients with a history of anaphylactic reactions or who are at increased risk for anaphylaxis. Important safety information. AVIQ is intended for immediate self-administration as emergency supportive therapy only and is not a substitute for immediate medical care. In conjunction with the administration of epinephrine, the patient should seek immediate medical or hospital care. Each AVIQ contains a single dose of epinephrine for single-use injection. More than two sequential doses of epinephrine should only be administered under direct medical supervision. Since the doses of epinephrine delivered from AVIQ are fixed, consider using other forms of injectable epinephrine if doses lower than 0.1 mg are deemed necessary. AVIQ should only be injected into the anterolateral aspect of the thigh. Do not inject intravenously or into buttock, digits, hands, or feet. Instruct caregivers to hold the leg of young children and infants firmly in place and limit movement prior to and during injection to minimize the risk of injection-related injury.
Rare cases of serious skin and soft tissue infections have been reported following epinephrine injection. Advise patients to seek medical care if they develop any of the following symptoms at an injection site. Redness that does not go away, swelling, tenderness, or the area feels warm to the touch. Epinephrine should be administered with caution to patients with certain heart diseases and in patients who are on medications that may sensitize the heart to arrhythmias because it may precipitate or aggravate angina pectoris and produce ventricular arrhythmias. Arrhythmias, including fatal ventricular fibrillation, have been reported in patients with underlying cardiac disease or taking cardiac glycosides or diuretics. Patients with certain medical conditions or who take certain medications for allergies, depression, thyroid disorders, diabetes, and hypertension may be at greater risk for adverse reactions. Common adverse reactions to epinephrine include anxiety, apprehensiveness, restlessness, tremor, weakness, dizziness, sweating, palpitations, pallor, nausea and vomiting, headache, and or respiratory difficulties. Please see the full prescribing information and patient information available at www.auvi-q.com. You are encouraged to report negative side effects of prescription drugs to the FDA. Visit www.fda.gov forward slash medwatch or call 1-800-FDA-1088.